Well, party into the night after opening day at the races. Heather Lake is in Rancho Santa Fe with all those details. Hey, Heather. So if you're looking for a place to keep the party going after opening day at Del Mar, this is it. The Inn at Rancho Santa Fe for the first year, they are doing an after party. Bentleys, champagne, and all the jockeys. This is where they're hanging out after the races. So let's take you inside. They're getting all set up for the big day, opening day at Del Mar tomorrow. And it's on a Friday, so you know Jerome, the general manager here at the Inn at Rancho Santa Fe. It is going to be a busy one. You guys decided to put on a big party. Is there going to be dancing? There's going to be music. There's going to be drinks and food, right? And food and dancing. We have a great band, a, a surefire show ensemble, which is a 12-piece uh, band. Uh, they will be playing here. Uh, we are, as we, as you said, we're still in the process, but this will be looking like a Kentucky farm tomorrow night. Oh, I uh, love it. Let's walk inside and take a look. Um, as you guys are setting up, I noticed that... Um, there's going to be a lot of libations. No one's going to go home thirsty. Exactly. You know, we have uh, Belvedere, Rothia, Moet, uh, and Chandon as uh, one of the sponsors. So uh, <laughs> there will be a lot of libations. Sounds like a good time for sure. Um, I want to talk a little bit about hats. Carol's having some cocktails over there, though. Can I steal you for a second, Carol? Come on. You can't talk about opening day at Del Mar without my friend Carol Bader here. Hey, you bring that over, too, and yeah. enjoy some cocktails. <laughs> Look at these gorgeous hats. Thanks for bringing these over. Um, because everyone needs to know it's all about the hat at Del Mar you pick your hat before you pick your dress that is the key I didn't think about that going into this uh, this day at Del Mar but you know what we are gonna work on it and you're talking about colors so it's all about the pastels is that kind of what it is or is it just bright and bold colors actually we just saw a lot of pinks this year pinks purples this melon color is sort of a variation of a coral beautiful it starts as a trend, and then the more people ask and the more dresses you start to see, you yeah. realize there's something going on. So we made the matching pocket square in the melon so that the man can coordinate with the woman. Oh, so we, we like try that. to get all the details in. Okay, and you've got to check out her shop um, up there in Del Mar. It is going to be an amazing event. Make sure you bring your hat. Carol's always got us in mind. Hey, I want to talk a little bit more about this because Daryl from the Jockey Guild, that's what this party is all um, we're giving back, and so can you tell us about uh, what, what what are we giving back to? We're giving back to the Permanently Disabled Disabled Riders Fund, Heather, and it assists financially for between oh, 55 and 60 wow. for permanently, permanently disabled riders at any given time. So uh, the riders have donated uh, quite a few items for the silent auction that we're going to have, some pants signed by uh, the Jockey Colony at Dalmar, silks signed by Hall of Fame riders, Kenta Somo, Victor Espinosa, Stewie Elliott, Mike Smith. They have boots signed by the, the, uh -huh. the Jockey Colony and Silks. And yeah, a if you're, donated if by you're Mike. a racing fan, this is where you're going to want to be and this is what you're going to want to check out. Um, Daryl, thank you so much Absolutely. for that information. Thanks. You guys, tickets are still for sale, so you can get them pre-sale for $150. Uh, if you buy them at the door, it's uh, $175. It all starts at 5 p.m., so make sure that you make it here and you make it safe by taking an Uber. Uh, we put more information, too, up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. All you need to do is click on that Scene On tab for now.